Welcome to Stitch Crazy. My name is B, and today we are going to be um, using blue jeans to make baskets. So here's a couple different sizes. You can take a child's um, jeans and make a small basket like this to hold your accessories in. Or you can take an, an older person's um, jeans and make a bigger basket, and that's to hold items in. And so today for our program, um, we're going to need our cutting board and a rotary cutter and um, we don't really need a ruler but we can use a ruler and of course jeans. So like I said, for um, a bigger basket you'll need an adult's jeans. For a smaller basket I use this child's jeans. And then what we're going to do is we're going to utilize the seam on the bottom so there's a little less sewing. And so on the child's one, I just, you make it however tall you want your basket. So for, we're going to make a bigger one today. Now, if you want your basket um, to be a little thicker and stand a little stronger, you can always put a lining in there. You can always take like light cardboard and curve it around for a little stability. And if you have a lining, that would stay in there more. But to, I've used these and these are just fine the way they are. Okay, so I'm gonna take, and of course we're gonna need accessories. Um, Rick rack and lace, um, these stick on little um, decoration to make our, or sew on buttons. We've got all different kinds of things we can dress our, our basket up. Or you can just leave it plain, whatever you desire. So I'm going to put that there. So our first step is to decide how tall we would like our basket. The basket width will be whatever width your blue jeans the leg is. And um, then I'm also going to like flip the bottom for a little lip on top for decorating the basket. So today, I guess I'm gonna have to turn it around this way. And then we're gonna have to sew the bottom. So we'll need a sewing machine too and thread. Okay, so I think, and of course the bottom is gonna be a little wider, but that's okay. We are going to cut this, I'm gonna make it, you have to allow for seam allowances so I'm just gonna cut it about that tall and because I'm going through two um, widths of fabric just press a little harder on your rotary cutter when you're cutting it okay so we can just put set those aside and this is a very simple basket okay so now I have my piece so I'm going to turn that inside out because we're going to want to make the seam at the bottom. Okay. Now there's a couple ways of doing this to make it a little easier. I'm going to put the seams in the middle here. And I'm going to, see now this is a little off, so I'm just going to um, lay this back down. I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to straighten this out. Because the way I had it laid before, it looked like it was going straight across but when I put my seams in the middle and I don't have this folded on top, it's just a little bit off. And that's okay too, I guess you can just put that in your seam or you can just cut it off to make it even. And through the seam, it's a little bit harder to get through that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine and I am going to sew about a half inch seam. And that's up to you however, however thick you want your seam at the bottom. That's entirely up to you. So I'm going to back stitch the end there. And then we're going to stitch across this seam. I'm going to back stitch at the end again just to secure it a little bit. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to 
You can either turn it inside out the way it is. And we'll just take and make these corners sharp. There's two ways of finishing the bottom here. I'll show you this way first. So you can have it that way, and then you can turn down your basket, the top, and it would be like this. Now this is, to make your basket stand a little bit more, I'm going to like square my corners. So I'm going to flip this back inside out. Get three months free access on all lines, plus a new 4G smartphone for only $4.99 a month. Two great offers with Valley Cellular. Call Valley today at 437-2615 to take advantage of this great deal. Okay, so now I'm going to try to like square my corners. So I'm going to lay my seam open like this. And then I'm going to go about, about two inches in. I'm going to try and make sure that my seam is in the middle. And you can lay it down one way. And just sew across. And I'm going to back stitch again just to kind of secure that seam. And I'm just going to sew across here and backstitch again. I cut my threads. Okay, so then I'm gonna go to the other side and I'm gonna make sure that my seam is laying the same way as it was on the other one. And I'm just gonna kinda estimate, and it's about two inches or so, not quite. And I'm going to back stitch again. Okay. Now again, you can do this two ways. You can either leave these seams in there or you can trim them off to make it lay nicer here. And I'm just going to flip this inside out. See, it makes like a square corner. And then that'll just set on the table a little bit easier. And then I'll just kind of hook that down. So I'm gonna make this one taller. In case we have something taller that we wanna put in here. All right, so now the basket, stand like that. The taller you get, um, like the heavier jeans would stand up nicer. If you use lightweight jeans, it might be a little harder for it to stand up. And then also you may want to um, either put a piece of cardboard in here for a little more um, strength. Okay, so now what we have is we have this basket and we're gonna decorate it. So how do we want to decorate? You know, that just depends on the look that you want. Okay. So sometimes, like on this one here, I just use the um, self-adhesive little gems to decorate it. It's not a whole lot. And then on this one here, I sewed the rickrack to hold this in place. And I think I'm gonna do that with this one. And I think I like the red with this. Although you could do like a decorative. This one is like a multicolor. That would be kind of pretty too. Um, you could use like uh, a band to make, have a, like a flower on there. Um, you could sew buttons on. 
That's what I did with this one. I sewed Rick Rack and I sewed a button. You can have buttons all the way around it if you choose to. Um, let's see what else do I have. I got all the different kinds of buttons. And oh, you can sew these little charms on there. If you would rather have a charm going across, you could do that. So there's no right or wrong way, just whatever way you want your basket to look. You can take old Rick Rack and Lace, old, and you can sew that on if you want to. Okay, so today, I think as being as it's a taller basket, I think I want the red. I like red, with deep red with blue jeans. So we're going to open up this. If I can get it open. There we go. Okay. So I think I'm going to sew this rip rack and lace like in the middle. Oh, I'm going to pull that down just a little bit more. Try to make this as even as I can. We'll see what it looks like. We'll test it first and see if we like the look. Put it on like this to see if we like that look. So I think, yeah, that's a go. So I'm gonna start kind of in the back where I think the back is going to be. Take this piece of tape off of this rick rack and lace. And that's on there so it won't ravel on you. So we're gonna start here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some pins because I kind of want this even. I'll just pin it every so often. And, and you don't have to pin it if you don't want to. You can just lay it on and sew as you go. Pinning it will just secure it a little bit more. It'll just make your basket a little more decorative. You can always leave them plain too if you want to leave it plain. That's fine too. Now, I did pin this all the way around. I could cut it off, but just in case it stretches with it, I'm going to leave this open. And then we'll. My machine has this attachment that comes off. So it makes it a little easier to sew things that are around. So then you can just put it underneath here and start on your piece. Normally, I would put red thread, but because I really didn't know what I was gonna decide, I just have white thread. That's okay too. So we are gonna start sewing this around. And you could use like a zigzag stitch if your machine has a zigzag stitch and go all like that. I'm just sewing down the middle just to kind of show you how we can do this. When you come to the seam, of course, it's gonna be thicker, so you may wanna go slower or you will break your needle. Even if you have a denim needle in here, which you should sew the denim with a denim needle because it's um, easier to get through the denim with the proper needle. And you can adjust it as you go. We are almost around to the front. And then what I try to do is try to align the rip rack. So you can't really tell where you start and stop, but you, you will. And it's gonna be at the back, so. And I'm gonna back stitch. Now I'm gonna cut this off and you may want to kind of fold it under and so that it's a, a clear seam. Okay, 
So once we've got that done, because I backstitched, I can just clip it off where it is. All right, so now I got a little bit of a decoration on here. So you can just continue. Um, let me see if I've got some. Like these would be cute, these red buttons or these red gems. Let's see what we can do. Or another way too, if you want, if you know how to paint, you could paint a design on here. Um, we'll just take these adhesive gems right now and we'll use those. And then of course these buttons you'd have to sew on, but you could use the gems and the buttons um, depending uh, where you want your front and back. If you want it to sit this way, then you may want to put more of your design on here um, because we have the seam, you know, here. It just depends how you would like your basket or what you would like your basket to look like. So, um, let's see, we'll sit. So we're gonna decorate this a little bit. With these adhesive, you just stick them wherever you want. Can you see that? And you just press them down so you can have a set pattern or, or not. Like if you wanted to make a circle, I'll put another one of these here. And you can mix and match. You can put the white, maybe some black here and there. In this case, I'm just gonna decorate the one side. You can decorate both sides if you want the same way. So that's all there is to making a blue jean basket. Um, if you would like to um, host a show or if you have any ideas for us, um, if you want to call us at 437-2615. And I do have some show and tell today, so I will bring my piece in and show you what I've done. Blazing fast broadband internet from Valley is now available and better than ever. Let us help you decide which speed is best for you. The 50 meg speed would be sufficient for 1-4 to four devices mainly emailing and surfing the web. Our 100 meg speed works great for 5-8 to eight devices and multiple users streaming and downloading video. If you have 8 devices or more that are simultaneously streaming or gaming, or if you have a medium sized business, the 250 meg speed would work best for you. For extreme heavy home or work from home use, or if you have a medium to large business using 15 or more devices, you may want to consider our 500 meg download speed to fit your needs. And if you're a home or business that needs it all, we have our 1000 meg, 1 gig broadband internet speed. Call our office today at 437-2615 and talk with one of our staff members to pick the speed that's best for you. I have brought my show and tell today. Um, I have um, done this on a previous program. I made the strip um, pieces, squares, and I believe I put this one together. Um, and what I did is I just top stitched for um, extra to hold it together. So on this one, I went home after the fact and I decided this is like a two piece, two square table runner. What I did on this now, after the fact, is um, it is called Stitch in the Ditch. And what I did is I took it to my sewing machine and I sewed along these lines here. So like on the back, you will see I have a whole, it's a decorative lines on the back everywhere, my seams. So, and, and it holds the, the piece flatter. And so what I did is I sewed all the way around and then I did every seam and then it just adds a different color and if you want white on the back you'll see your stitching more I did blue so that it just kind of blended in but that's my show and tell today on what I did with the piece that I made earlier 
I just decided to finish it a little bit more and do some top stitching and I just did it on my sewing machine, my regular sewing machine. Um, on this second piece, like I said, I, I could also go around and add. You can do it after the fact. This one had white thread, so I would want to do, um, if I want to go around these squares and then stitch in here, I would also do it in white, being as I had already sewed my um, top stitching between my rows in white. So there's lots of ways you can finish your pieces that um, you've done in the past. You maybe you want to add a little bit more to it. You can certainly do that. So that's my little bit of show and tell today. Thank you.